Hey everyone, and welcome to the newest segment on the Black Minecraft podcast called Hustlin' Blocks. Hustlin' Blocks is all about highlighting those amazing people within all aspects of the Minecraft ecosystem. And, you know, it's just about having fun. All of our segments are always going to be based on making sure that you get the full essence of the amazing people being highlighted. And by essence, I mean essence. Now, hopefully, you know, you have a lot of fun with all of these amazing, amazing episodes. And I hope you do especially enjoy us doing this kickoff episode featuring Kendra Sight. Now, in this episode, we're going to talk all about, like, we have all of the tea. We're going to be talking about platform changing, Minecraft, and I think that we do mention a lot of cool, interesting stuff in this episode. So make sure you guys do tune in, enjoy, let me know how you guys actually feel about this episode as well, and even stick around because we have, like, some more creators coming up too. So, hope you guys do enjoy the episode. Everyone, this month I am taking out the time to make sure that all of my favorite creators, especially my favorite, favorite creators, such as this gentleman right here, um, I'm just taking a month out for us to all highlight each other. And I know so many Black creators who create Minecraft content that uh, I thought, you know what? This is the year. This is the year that we get to hear everyone. This is the year that if there are people who do use cameras, that we go ahead and see the faces behind all of these amazing works. So um, let's go ahead and hop into it. We have the amazing Kendra Sight out here. Yes. Hello. So Kendra Sight, um, I actually met Kendra Sight a few years ago. Um, and some interesting circumstances and, and eventually we're going to be able to uh, cover that, but some interesting circumstances, um, uh, you know, across some platforms and, um, Kendra Sight really, really, really loves Minecraft, believes in Minecraft and believes in the connections that Minecraft can bring. Now, although Kendra Sight does create more than just Minecraft content, what I will say is that a lot of people do know him for his Minecraft content because of how great his community is when it comes down to all the content, the environment, and they also know him pretty well for his uh, his dancing skills and singing skills. <laughs> <laughs> when new people enter the chat, when there are raids, and when like pretty amazing things happens inside the community. So Ken just like go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I am Ken. I am a full-time family friendly content creator. Um I focus mainly on mega builds and keeping people inspired in Minecraft, mainly from because a lot of people that I know and meet all the time, they're never usually new into the community. They're like, I'm scared to build, I'm scared to I'm scared to express myself because I'm scared people are going to judge me, which that happens a lot in the Minecraft world, let's be honest. And I like to tell people that in, in my area, on my servers, you're safe. If you build dirt huts and you build dirt mansions, you like building with dirt and cobble or just using cobble like people did back in like 1.2 beta. Hey, you build one be cobblestone 1.2 beta. I've seen some amazing things with cobblestone. Like that's... It's primarily about me. Um, sometimes I derail a little bit. I go to play things like Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite. And I know it's Fortnite, but I usually play with people that they want to have a good time. They're not worried about pushing KD or being professional or being toxic. We just, I mean, like just like today, we all jumped in a vehicle. We played one of the radio stations that had like dancing music. And we just, we just drove around the whole time. <laughs> all around the circle as a circle strength we just continue just just drove all around then get low we pull over get gas and i mean <laughs> we got shot at blown up i mean it was it was just fun but that's just that's the kind of stuff we like to do we like to promote positivity happy things and creativity and yeah that's me and i love fish as y'all can see behind me i got yes i got these four i got one here i got a 10 and two thirties upstairs and i got a koi pond outside 
see and that's like I, I think it's really fun and it's a really great thing to be able to see a minecrafter that not only plays other games not only uses a camera but that like really doesn't mind showcasing hobbies um there's not a lot of minecrafters that actually do that and i'm going to be straight up honest and say that this gives another layer to our black community because a lot of times within the black community when somebody is known as somebody who likes minecraft people really don't bat an eye they they're like okay well they play minecraft they play games i don't really like but have you actually met the person? Have you have you met all all of what comes of them? Because we have we have our Minecraft mode where we will just be like, okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, all that stuff. When we go to another game, when we go ahead and show our hobbies, it's like, okay, Minecraft mode is done. I'm still I'm still a Minecrafter, but listen, these are the other areas. You know, and so, like, I think it's always important for us to understand that, yes, as Black creators within the Minecraft arena, we are still human. So, uh, other people in the Black community, please treat us as such. Okay? Thanks. <laughs> It'd be nice. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, so, when it comes down your, to your content creation, how long have you been creating content? I've been doing content for five years. I started January 5th. 2018. I started two months after my daughter was born. And cool. yeah, it's, I, I went full time April 2020, 2021. 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. I quit my job cool. beginning of April and I've been doing this full time ever since. COVID was bad. COVID sucked, but it gave people like me a chance to like go full time, catch that audience. And the in that two year with about a year and a half two window, to be able to sustain and make this a like a, all like a permanent thing. Now I mean of course now people go back go back to you know people are coming back to work and going outside you know doing social things, and that awesome traffic has slowed down a little bit. But I mean that's why you what's that <laughs> word um, diversify do other things. Yes. Cause like one thing I like to do now is I make Minecraft servers on the side for people. Like I configure up, configure them. I build them. I make it however they want to do it to well, to maximize my brain. Cause I'm only so smart. <laughs> so. You're only but so smart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't, oh, that sounded like You bad. have a sliver of this left of brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, listen, a happy five year anniversary. All right. Happy five year anniversary of streaming and happy uh, coming up uh, to my math. Two happy coming up two years of uh, being able to stream 100% full time. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's actually a big thing for someone to be able to take their content, uh, their, their content creation, basically taking a hobby. Cause at the end of, at the end of the day, this, this actually usually for a lot of us starts off as a hobby in some form or fashion. So, you know, being able to do that, being able to essentially turn it into a business and being able to tap into other arena, other arenas of this hobby, uh, being able to, um, do more things like setting up your servers, like all of that stuff is actually huge things like there are even some top minecrafters i'm talking about inside of these really really big servers okay who actually cannot afford to be full-time so this is a very very huge thing so big congrats on that thank you um as a black creator um, to be honest with you, there are not enough of us um, openly that are full-time creators. Um, as far as on the gaming side, there are actually not a lot of Black people who are doing that unless, you know, here's, <laughs> here's the caveat, unless maybe tied down to a contract that we may or may not like. 
um, unless uh, we go through a lot of bouts of burnout and everything. Like a lot of times you don't really get a full-time um, black creator, a full-time creator of color who is being able to freely create content and explore other arenas. So big shout out to that. Now, um, part of your content creation journey has been uh, deciding what platform was right for you. So can you tell us, <laughs> can you tell us something <laughs> about that? Because inquiring minds. Sure. No problem. So when I first started streaming, I actually didn't start on Facebook or Twitch or anything. I started on YouTube. Because I was like, you know, back then, five years ago, there was a lot of drama on Twitch. I'm sure y'all know the D Dr. Disrespect drama. There's a lot of this. So anyone that looked at Twitch saw all the drama. So I was like, I ain't touching none of that. Facebook, I don't want my mom and all of them seeing what I do. So I tried YouTube. I did YouTube for about a month. And, of course, it didn't go anywhere. Because every time I had a viewer, I was going like this. I, I, I just, just, you know, adjusting my camera. Not, <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Uh, so, what? <laughs> yeah, I kept doing that every time I had a viewer. I, I was like, oh man, I'm getting famous. Oh man, I got to keep adjusting my camera. So, um, and then I was like, you know what? Let me try, let me try Facebook. Facebook, you know, I was like, why not? It's blue. Blue's my favorite color. So let me just, let me just try Facebook. And I streamed for about six months on Facebook, but I wasn't, I wasn't family friendly at the time. This is the best way for me to explain the story too. I, I wasn't family friendly at the time. I was very, I'm prior military. I'm a veteran. I was in, Co I was in Kosovo in 06, Iraq 2010. I was in the army from 2004 to 2011. And a lot of that military humor was part of my content. And I started getting people to circulate around me then on Facebook for that. And my son started repeating some of the things I was saying, which I had to make a big decision after that. I was like, do I want to actually continue doing this, which my son will watch me? Do I go family friendly? Do I stop all the bad words and all that? And when I cut off all the bad words and I'm at full family friendly, everything changed. Everything changed. I started exploding on Facebook. Things was great. But then... Facebook issues started happening. The notifications, the the buffering, the chat lag. I didn't find out till almost two years later that there were people in my community. I didn't even know who was there. They were talking the whole time, but I couldn't see them in the feed because they were hidden and I didn't know they were hidden. And, you know, for someone that was streaming and started starting to get in their bearings, to see that, it was, I, I felt this big because I was like, oh God, maybe I don't pay attention enough to the chat. So July 7th, 2020, I went from Facebook to Twitch. And Twitch, I mean, everybody's going to tell you under the sun, Twitch is saturated. There's a lot of this on Twitch, a lot of that on Twitch. But that's also where people go to watch gaming things. Mm -hmm. Once I went to Twitch, the integrations that they have for my – now, remember, I'm saying all this for my community. I'm not worried about – I mean, don't get me wrong. I love growing, but a lot of stuff yeah. that I do, it's for people that are already there. So Correct. like the integrations, the Minecraft integrations with Discord, Minecraft integrations with other like third party mods and plugins to do stuff like uh, like sabotages and things like that. Twitch makes it so easy. I can't leave it, if that makes sense. Like I can't, Twitch is kind of, it's my home. <laughs> Now, YouTube is great. Okay, I love YouTube. YouTube's wonderful, but they don't have the integrations that Twitch has. So mm -hmm. Twitch is kind of like my baby. Like I I give it a hug. I tuck it in at night. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the best way to explain it. And, you know, and that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, a lot of... The schisms happen um, when people start comparing different content platforms, but they will compare it like they will compare the content platforms um, and hold the streamers up to the 
platform standards. Like, so if Facebook is doing bad, they'll say, oh, Facebook streamers all suck. And it's it's not even that mm-hmm. whatsoever. Yeah. Um, a lot of people on these various platforms are amazing content creators, but for whatever mm-hmm. reason, um, the the platform may not be the platform for them. The platform mm-hmm. may or may not be oversaturated. To be honest with you, you could look at any platform and claim oversaturation is what you do with it. However, I'm a big believer that if you have a choice and if the current choice that you're at is not meeting your needs, you need to move. You just need to move. Mm-hmm. Um, now that's a scary money, thing, by the yeah, way. That's- yeah. It, it's, it's a scary thing, but it's something that like in the long run will allow you to continue to be that awesome creator because mm-hmm. you can't, you can't feel good about your own content if you're feeling trapped by your content. And you're, you're always, by your in, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it's always like, if you're worried about like, if you, if you go to hit live and say the chat's buffering, you're not gonna be able to hit live. There's errors. There's problems. The chat stopped scrolling. I mean, all like any down to the day. If you're, <laughs> if, if your content revolves around working around those problems, that ain't for you. You, you need to take yourself somewhere else. Somewhere else where you can be happy and you can be on camera and you're to fully focus on your one thing I was really happy with when I left Facebook is when I looked at my chat and I saw everybody doing the thing, emotes and this and that. I thought about it for I sat there for a solid minute. If you ever find my VOD where I first went to Twitch, I just sat there. I was like, there's nothing that there, there's nothing broken. It's 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 just going i can just focus on being me i don't have to be like all right we're gonna take an intermission to go fix the chat i don't have to make these yeah we we might need a piece of that i i I, we if you have that somewhere in the archives (laughs) you have that somewhere in the archives (laughs) that's being submitted right there i I Um, could i could i could look (laughs) that that's it's it's a very it's a very important thing and then you know at the end of the day the minecraft community is for whatever reason um the minecraft community still is not really used to seeing black people within the space um i'm sorry it's just so cool how you make the transition with your table and stuff i'm like oh my god this is great (laughs) technology technology i love it (laughs) <laughs> but um you know like when it comes down to it, a lot of people are not used to seeing black people within the space a lot of people like are so fixated on the color of somebody's skin that often depending on your platform especially you'll get skipped over um and you know sometimes it's not about just the trolling it's about the the awareness of you not being highlighted within um certain platforms it's the awareness of being a partner on a platform but they're still choosing not to highlight you and it 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 could be it could be kind of tough um i know for me personally i I couldn't find a lot of people who were, I couldn't find a lot of black people, a lot of black streamers, a lot of black content creators within the space due to like the lack of highlighting. So, you know, so being on Facebook gaming, you know, where, you know, you're a partner and stuff like that. And I, I expected when you were in your partnership, I expected to see more of you on the front page, but unfortunately, um, not a lot of us really did get highlighted for our Minecraft at all. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you know, so it's. The one so day I did Fortnite, point. I did. But other than that, no. Nah. Right. <laughs> and so like this in this space, um, there are a lot of times where we switch platforms because the lack of visibility. I mean, it could be very it, it's very It's very eye-opening when we're streaming on Twitch or streaming on YouTube or just upload a YouTube video um, or just talking about Minecraft on Twitter. It's it's very different when you get that viewer, when you get that commenter that's like, oh, hey, you're black like me. 
Like that's like, like, wow, I've, I've been searching for a black Minecrafter. I've been searching everywhere. I've been searching on Reddit for years. I've been searching on YouTube for years. It's different when that hits you. Mm -hmm. Um, so how do you feel with your streams now, as far as it, with being like, you know, with being more visible, with having a working chat and everything, how does, how does it feel to actually be able to be a part of representation? Cause that, cause on, on Facebook, you didn't really have, because if people didn't know you, people didn't know you, right. They had mm -hmm. to be within the ecosystem. They had to be within, within channels that maybe would come in and share their communities with you. So being on Twitch where Twitch is a more open arena, like how does it feel to be able to be a real deal part of representation within this community? It, 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 it was a big, for, 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 so let me, this goes back to when I first went to Twitch, it was a huge show culture shock for me. Like when I was on Facebook back then, I'm not bragging, I'm not gloating. But I was the Minecrafter on Facebook. When you heard mm -hmm. Minecraft and Facebook gaming, my face was there. I was a partner at the time. But when I came over to Twitch, the culture shock that I got just from people in general was just out of this world. I was almost overwhelmed. Things were different. Things are, I mean, I didn't have to cater to likes and this and that. I had to actually show off my Minecraft skills and show how unique my builds are. And it was... It was beautiful. It, it, it changed, first off, it changed me as a creator, straight up, because I didn't have to worry about you know X, Y, and Z. I had to focus on things that you had need to actually need to worry about as a creator. How are you going to keep yourself engaging, keep yourself entertaining, mm -hmm. and how cool of a Minecrafter can you make yourself? And now, now I don't mean by that by watching YouTube videos and doing this, 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 just like everyone else. Right. I'm talking about you can truly express yourself, and there's always a group of people that want to see that. Right. Because um, what I will say is that on on Facebook um, and guys like this is not a uh, this is not a podcast, not a piece about different um, platforms, but this is actually a piece about Kindra site because. Um, platforms when you talk about kinder site you still do have to talk about the pat the platform switch and the reason why you have to talk about the platform switch is because a not everybody's actually as successful or think that they're going to be as successful after platform switches they're not mm -hmm. um and that's yeah. only because when you do a platform switch and you tell your community you know <laughs> so that's the thing but on facebook it it was so easy for people to mess around with the algorithm by reacting a certain way or deciding not to react, right? Or deciding not to talk. Like it was, it was so easy. And a lot of times for the creator that was black, I mean, a lot of times you just felt it, or you would you would get so many people that would try to come in and they would like talk about the murders of black people. And it's like, yeah, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We're like, just like we're just, everyone else. Like, why yes. are you going to come in and bring that targeted crap into our chat? Especially when like, like but for one of my rules on my chat, like I always pinged it when I was on Facebook, I am family friendly, keep news and stuff out of chat. We're here for a good time. Well, right. what about this thing? And you know, this thing. And I'm like, I, I don't know you. And I, I I mean, I care about the situation. I mean, it may hit, but I'm not here to talk about that while playing a video game. I'm I'm here to, you know, do my thing, not that. So right. it's, and and mm. I I think that's what I really love about um about our content creation journeys is you know, even though all of the racist stuff happens on Twitch, we we get it, we see it, it's blatant. Okay, fine. There are tools to help protect us against that there uh, the moderators can actually see the chat like there, there's so many things that go on but it just sometimes when you're on a platform where you're just not feeling like you're being um looked out after by the platform where you're not being able to talk to um support and get help with certain things where you you don't you like where you don't know if your stream is being hijacked or if there's just a regular network 
issue. Like, like you know, like all of or that. If your stuff payment info gets changed and you don't know it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Exactly. Didn't say that. <laughs> but there's there's so much stuff that could take away your focus. So you know, so that's why like I appreciate people who can be transparent about their journeys with switching uh, switching platforms because it's it's very important for like the audience to know, hey if you need to switch platforms, you don't, you don't need a rebrand every time you switch platform. You don't, if you are still the same person, if you still want to do the same exact thing, if you still just want to just be you and just go to a different platform, you could still make it happen. So you're, you're now, not owed any platform, any loyalty. None. Right. If you, uh, I, and I, and I want, I can't stress this enough. If you, for example, if you streamed on Facebook for four years straight, if you stream on there four years straight and you're doing good, say you're making decent money, that kind of thing. If you left, Facebook don't care. They, they don't care if you're there or not. They don't, they, they see you as an algorithm number. And when you go, that just means the algorithm goes to someone else. And then they will be, they will, they will trend in whatever. They may not be your community, but they'll get that extra algorithm. Mm -hmm. I hate that word so much. <laughs> but like. I know when I first moved over to Twitch, everything went in my mind. Nobody else, no, people, people don't like Twitch. People like this, people like that. I mean, it, you're going to have loss on your regulars. It may cut just a little bit, but I mean, I've been gone on Facebook almost three years and I'm still getting people in and they're like, I used to watch you. Oh my God. Hi. And I mean, <laughs> it, it's been this long and people are still coming in. Right. And it's not, and I do keep my page active. I just don't stream on it because well, I like my health and well-being. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it, like I said, it's a scary jump, but after a week, you'll notice a difference. Not just mm -hmm. with your content, you'll notice a difference that you're not so mad, so frustrated. Like if yeah. you hit that live button and you're not happy or just like, ah, I can go upstairs and go get some dinner or something like that, then you, you need to evaluate. Right. Up. And so when it comes down to your Minecraft content, right? When it comes down to this infamous this infamous Minecraft content, you do a lot. You 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 really do a lot. Um what are some of your most recent projects or some of the projects that you cuz you've been doing a lot. <laughs> like it's so I know it's so difficult but you've been doing so much like what are some of the projects that you're really proud of and what are the things that you're working on now if you can give us some insight okay there's a lot of stuff so I'll, I'll narrow it down to my favorite stuff so my most favorite build that I've ever done it's another tunnel it's another tunnel sitting at a Y of 30 at lava level it's 19 wide it's 17 tall made of prismarine and glass Wow. 2,107 blocks long. It took four months to build. And I built that tunnel so I can build an, an extra area for, because I built it during 116.5. So mm -hmm. when 117 came out, I can have deep slate, amethyst, all that stuff, like, ready to go. Um, Right now, I'm working on a zoo so I can have every single mob in it. Like, upstairs, I have the passive. Downstairs is all the hostile to include the jockeys and all that including the wither. I still don't know how I'm going to trap that. Um, the, the <laughs> warden, like I'm going I'm to get all of them down there. I have an aquatic area. I'm going to have all the fish, all the guardians, elder guardians, that thing. Um, I'm also trying to build a giant floor in the end from, you know, where the end island is. So here's mm -hmm. the end island. Here's the islands around it. I'm building a bowl at a Y of one in the end of cobblestone. And then I'm going to put sand and I'm going to fill up with water all the way up to about a Y of the 65-ish. Wow. I'm going to mine down the end island. And I'm going to make a gigantic coral city. And all the biomes on the outside, I'm going to make them every single biome in Minecraft. To include the nether. To include the, well, the nether. I was going to say the end, but. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make it all Enderman safe. That is team water. And then, oh. <laughs> on, and then on modded, I'm trying to clear out an ocean and on vault hunters, we're doing vault hunters. And on our, our RPG server, we're trying to fortify our spawn because the Aussies attacked and put holes in the earth. And we just stopped the blood God. And it, 
this is the last step. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually just yeah. opened up a, another server. I have uh-huh. a peaceful server now. Not a peaceful fan because I like chaos, but what, tell me about this peaceful server. Here. Okay, so I've been doing this five years, and everyone, some I, ha, I do have a good group of people. Sometimes I just want to get on and do Minecraft without the danger of zombies and skeletons. And I'm one of those it's ones, uh-huh. I like to make everybody happy. You get the hardcore fans that want to play on RPG, mm-hmm. limited lives, banned for a week. Um, you got the ones that just want to do regular survival with. Warps, warps and commands and teleports and blah, 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 all that junk. And then you got the people that want to play just strictly vanilla, which is where I play on Homeworld most of the time. And then you got people that just want to play without having to worry about nothing, which is peaceful. Same things as survival, but there's no moms. Unless you do a spawner. I'm okay with that. It, it just... <laughs> My brain, I'm okay with. I will, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually like really wonderful, and it's it's really great because and it's free like for I everybody. Said, Anybody can play. Look at that, because like I said, being being a full time content creator, it's very, 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 very vital for you to um, a make your money, of course. Um, but also being able to extend these opportunities for your community, but extending these opportunities and being happy with it. You know, it's, Mm -hmm. I, like, I used to do community things all the time on Mixer, like all the time on Mixer. Like, that's why we can never keep a world for like longer than a certain amount of months because it was all community things. It'll be one day we're good. Next thing you know, we're all blown up. And then we restarted, <laughs> but you know, so like, so like, it's it's always important as as a full time creator to actually be happy with the work that you're creating, yes. and so I really do like that about you because not only do you make sure that you're you're pleasing those who matter the most, so not only are you making sure that your community is happy, um, but you're also making sure that you're happy above all things. Mm-hmm. Um, like there are some days where you don't play Minecraft, you know, you may not stream Minecraft. Um, like matter of fact, today you're playing what Planet Zoo and mm-hmm. killing off your animals. Okay, God. I wasn't killing. I was in there. I I, I put <laughs> I put two different bear types in there. I had Himalayan brown bears, and then I had sun bears, and. Yeah, that 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 went very south very quick. Mind you, mind you, <laughs> mind you. Um, I'll get you a clip for that. <laughs> mind, yeah, I need the clip for that, please. Mind <laughs> you, I was I was actually lurking in there for a time. I just I was doing other stuff, but where I where I started to fully focus at right was when I decided to turn up my volume more on the stream. And pay attention to you allowing animals to die. So I saw that. Okay. Okay. I saw that. But that it was really great to actually witness the community who loves all different games participating. Anytime you're playing a game, it may not even be a game that all your community likes. You still have some moderators who are always going to participate. You still have some new people coming in. You're like, you keep the same type of energy. And you always make people feel welcomed, um, and I, I think that that's that's something big that we don't that we don't always get to see. A, a lot of a lot of us like, you know, a lot of us just don't always have the community to facilitate us playing different games. Mm-hmm. A lot of people get scared yeah. to play different games. Like we get into the mode where, of where we're like, um, well, if I make this content, like. You know, I'm gonna lose my Minecraft community. Like, no, that's it's not it's true. it took me a, it took me a year to get over that. Yeah. When I got on Twitch and I was starting to do Minecraft all the time, I kept watching. I kept actually starting to watch other people that don't play it, and I was like, "Oh, that's so nice. That's so neat." And I would post <laughs> one day and be like, "I'm gonna play. I don't know. I'm gonna play Terraria this day." And then, of course, being a streamer, as we all are, most of us are, we would look at our numbers after and be like, 
oh no, I went from like 65 to 27. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. And then when you stream Minecraft, you get in the second 30s or 40s. Right. And then like some people come in and be like, oh, I thought you stopped playing Minecraft. And, I'm, and then that's usually when, that is when I made that decision that if people are just going to hear from Minecraft, they can come in for Minecraft whenever they want. And there's also like 10,000 other people doing the same thing. So if they want Minecraft, and while I'm playing streaming something else, guess what? My mental state is not going to crash if they're still enjoying Minecraft somewhere else because they know where I'm at. They can come find me. Right. At the end of the and day, if you're doing this, I mean, <laughs> that that's worse off than playing a day with no Minecraft. Because you know I have. You know I have. You mm -hmm. know I have. You Yeah. I know what you're saying. I know. I know, but I like the games that you play too. <laughs> I do. I do come in, but, but you you know that there have been times when I was over yonder where mm -hmm. I would just be sitting there like, God, when is this over? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, so I, I yeah. and and I also think that's important for the Minecraft community to um to really understand that, like you know your favorite Minecrafters may like other games. Mm -hmm. Your favorite Minecrafters may like to do other things. Um, for instance, Joe Hills actually does other stuff. There are some times when he does um, art streams. He likes mm -hmm. to uh, do some Pokemon streams. Like there, like there are like creators that just love to create. So like it's it, it's kind of like weird sometimes being a Minecraft creator of the times that you don't create Minecraft content and then you're getting like oh I'm going to unfollow you now because you you're not creating Minecraft content and it's like no a lot of us are actually working on such big projects that to be honest if we didn't take a break for a moment I took a year break you're off the end follow <laughs> because you're not going to like us <laughs> uh -huh, exactly and I like, took a whole year off the end. I took four months off the zoo. I took another, uh, I took like six months off of that, that that bridge I was making, that tunnel. I took a two month break from that because I was just like lava, nether, I fall, I burn back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, back, holding shift 2107 blocks long. And there's like, let's see, too many lines. Just, I mined over 6 million nether act. That's just, let's just put it that way. Like, your boy got tired. I was done. <laughs> okay. That is that is actually really cool. So, uh, so with being a family friendly creator within the Minecraft space, um, where uh, what are things that you notice within the Minecraft space that um, that uh, like what what are things that you notice that you okay. Note to myself, I'm actually going to take this part off. <laughs> cut here. Just cut here. <laughs> Might be in like bloopers. Just cut here. <laughs> um, but um, being a family-friendly creator, how... How has uh, traversing the Minecraft space been um, great or, you know, are there certain things that sometimes you have to watch out as a family friendly creator in the Minecraft space? Like what what is the environment for you as a as a now family friendly Minecraft content creator? Like give me give me the skinny on how on how it works with being family friendly in Minecraft. Um, You got to stick to your guns. You can't give anybody any leeway. Like if somebody wants to build something that's a little profound, you, you got to say no. And if they do it anyway, you got to be willing to clean it up in an instant. Because if someone's kid, say they're on my server and someone's kid comes up and sees that, they're going to be like, why is this allowed on your server? And then that that's a, that's a ball effect right down a hill. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And when it crashes, you just people just lost respect for you because you're family friendly, but you didn't police this said object up. One thing I've noticed that's big in the Minecraft community is when people troll. Troll, troll builds, pranks. And don't get me wrong. No, I like pranks as much as the next person. But if you, if everybody, if you, if say you have somebody that focuses on, they, they want to see people trolling all the time, they're going to start trolling all the time. And then they'll come to communities like mine and they'll get on the server and start trying to troll and stuff there too. And trolling on my community servers, I mean, 
sometimes people come troll, but they also they're they they become part of the community and they become a part of the fun. But there will be times where someone's like, "Hey, I'm gonna get to know these four or five people, and then hey, I'm just gonna kill them relentlessly for like an hour." Like that's not that. I, I, I see people come in and do that from time to time. So, see, my remedy is I dare those PvP experts and trolling griefers and all that. I dare them to play on my RPG server. They mm. never make it two minutes. Two minutes, they get banned off it. And I don't, have, I don't do it. It's ten lives. Once you die ten times, you're banned for a week, and they never come back. Not to mention, I have a process to get on my server. You have to get on my Discord. You have to accept the rules and info. You have to go to the Get a Roll channel. And click Minecrafter. And then when you get on the server, you have to take a four-digit code and ping a bot in my Discord. That process alone takes away all those trolls. But the downside to that is I miss out on meeting awesome people. But I have to protect the people that play in my community. Because right. when I'm not streaming, that's their that's their release. They don't want to get on and see people come in and going, they go, go hey. <laughs> like, that's not <laughs> funny. Now, of course, the adult me is like, ha, ha, that's funny, but I ain't trying to go for that kind of content. You know what I mean? <laughs> sometimes sometimes the adult me just, like, laughs at stuff, and I'm like, dude, but that's not funny. Like, I have to fight with myself. I'm like, yeah. it's really not funny, but then, like, the other side of my brain is like, nah, that's hilarious. But it's it's yeah. a really big thing about um, us being family-friendly content creators, having to not only protect our communities within our chats, not only having to protect our communities within the game, but what happens when our community is playing the game and we're asleep? What happens, like, like not everyone has the, um, has all the resources to just hire moderators 24 hours mm -hmm. to be looking at these servers. Not everyone has the power to really stay up 24 hours a day mm -hmm. to go monitor even if you have logs even looking at logs you may still end up missing some stuff or you may still react to some stuff a little bit later because you're having to look through a whole entire log so when when we um as family friendly creators go ahead and make something yes we have to worry about the regular standards of pro of protection but then we also have to remember that as a family friendly content creator as a family friendly creator a lot of us do play with children who are under the age of 18 okay um or at least maybe our audience may be under the age of 18 Sh some of us our streams are actually played at dental offices because and i say this because i know i have seen some family friendly minecraft creator streams during the day in various spots OK, so it, it's not even I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, you know, people become family friendly to create money. Well, if that's what people want to do. Oh, well, it just gives more of a family friendly audience to go look at. I don't know if they're really true, for, whatever. But for us that are being genuine, there's so many things that we really have to look after that when when we have to do things within our community, we're not being mean. We are not being mean. We are literally trying to protect our community, trying to protect the communities that get shared within our communities, trying to protect our mental stability. And then we're trying to protect our money because like literally as a yeah. family friendly <laughs> content creator, you're as, as important as it is for us to make our money. Our money is always the last thought unfortunately because we're always thinking of let me protect this person let me squash this let me make sure that this is going on all this stuff mm -hmm. and then at the end you're looking at your money and you're like okay did i actually have enough money for what i just all did do i need to go ahead and ask some people for some additional resources what type of things do i need to study and read up on what type of plugins do i need what type of mods do i need what type of things do i actually have to go ahead and invest into my work so then that way I can go to sleep and I know that little Susanna or whatever or whomever can actually have a good time in the server. So mm -hmm. there, there's a lot. And I mean, I I know a lot of people don't don't think about it like this, but being a family friendly content creator, there's especially within the Minecraft community, 
because Minecraft community is, is very, I, I wouldn't even consider it <laughs> toxic, just weird. Very, God, very. Weird. Oh, God. It's, <laughs> it's out of this world, man. Oh, God. <laughs> and, you know, and and there's there's a lot of things when it comes down to trying to protect our community that as, like, being in the Minecraft arena, sometimes I've asked myself, do I not like Minecraft anymore? Because certain things could happen, and I'm like, like, whoa, I'm glad I'm not that guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at all that news. Whoa. Let me just right. disable this and drop this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, and for you to be doing this for multiple years, different platforms, um, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Can't answer that, and this is why. So, fun enough, you can't answer that. I can't answer that because <laughs> it, it, it's like this it's like tomorrow's not guaranteed, like, right? You know, in another year, something may come out where we can't stream anymore, you know, right? But I mean, not to be the pessimist, of course, obviously, but like in five years, because because when I first started this, my goal was to do this full time. My goal was to be, yeah, partnered everywhere, blah, blah, blah. But that badge and that honor doesn't, that doesn't drive my content. I want to be the best me that I can, do the coolest me that I can, and just be happy with what I do. Because, you know, everybody strives for that big job that they're happy with. And may, maybe manager of McDonald's. I mean, some people will really take pride in that. That's great. I want to take pride in my content and still at least to be able to do this another five years. You know, because everybody, a lot of creators that I know that I've met and throughout all this time I've do I've done this, I've learned just from my own personal statistics. Every creator when they start, they have five years. Mm -hmm. In that five years, they get they hit their peak around level like week, year two, year three, if they even make it that long, and then they crash and burn. Mm -hmm. Almost every creator I've met, they crash and burn, and. You know, in five years, I'll know a whole different group of streamers. I'll know it, it's hard. It's hard. It, it breaks it for me personally. It's broken my heart. Like watching people that I've been best friends with since the day I started no longer stream anymore because of, you know, algorithms, viewers, people coming and going. Cause I, and I'm just going to be straight up and blunt. Nobody's going to be there the whole time. People come, people go. You will have your core. But people will come, people will go. And that's that's just the unfortunate truth. I'll be lucky to even see another five years because I already hit my five-year window. This is it. This is my, I'm not, my, I'm not to say that I peaked, but this is my five years. In five more years, I'm going to have a whole different slew of community if I'm still right. doing this. I mean, find it, like, because just to be transparent, the money that I get from stream pays for my mortgage. It's 2000 bucks. Mm -hmm. Straight up, right off the board. And on top of that, you know, I got my car, I got, you know, bills and things like that. I have to deviate all that there. If I don't, if I can't maintain what I make, I'll have to go get a job and I won't be able to do this mm -hmm. whole time no more. And mm -hmm. with content creation, you got to really divvy up your money properly. Like if, like, for example, if I made $2,800 this month and next month I make only a thousand, I mean, that, that puts me to a huge hurt. So I have to be willing to save some of it so that I can at least, you know, pay the house or, you know, something like that. So in five years, I want to say I want to be in a better, comfortable, cushy spot. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't try to depend on that. I just, I take it one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? If that made sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I thought, I thought that you were saying that you couldn't tell us because it's some like like super secret information. I feel like there's still some more super secret information. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the biggest open books you'll find. Like my average, I see I make about 600 plus on Patreon. That helps a mo that, that helps a lot because every three months I have to pay for my servers and I run 14, 14 servers. Yeah, 14. <laughs> 14 in a realm. And the realm. But yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> the rum runs you. <laughs> well, the way I have it said is um, if anybody comes to me with a problem, I'll shut the whole realm down. Guess who, guess who doesn't have any problems on the realm? <laughs> <laughs> and they know I'm right because I've had a realm four times. First time I shut it down for three months and mm-hmm. they begged me to bring it back with, you know, numerous tips and things like donations and things like that. And then after the second one, the second one just straight up corrupted. There was, there was mm-hmm. always, there was like a 20 people window, 10 people on all the time. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm just going to tell y'all, if y'all like realms, keep backups regularly because eventually chunks will corrupt and your world won't be salvageable. So you, you, you got to be on the ball with keep it up with your backups. Um, always bring people that you trust on a realm because, you know, there's apps on my phone that I can download that I can get spawners and it, you'd be surprised on what people can do on a realm. And you've got to, I hate babysitting. Like I, I, I'm not a babysitter guy. So like if something's giving me grief, I just get rid of it. I mean, it hurts me to say that, but I, I just get rid of it. I'm just like, I'm done. I got other things to do. I got other kind to worry about, you know? So that's... <laughs> 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 no, that, that make it makes a lot of sense. And um, so recently I've been seeing things such as you doing certain stuff with Minecraft uh, directly. Um, you had your cool giveaway, which I didn't win. I was hoping I could bring the no. system. <laughs> that beautiful. The was to the system. <laughs> that, that was a beautiful. I, I, they both sat right up there and I was like, man, I just want one. So I get on display to show everybody. I hate Xbox personally. I don't, I'm not an Xbox guy, but I love what they do and I love to be around them. I love it. I love the group. I like to, you know, portray Xbox. I don't use an Xbox. I use, well, Microsoft PCs and, you know, that that's my deal. I'm a PC guy. And yeah. switch. so it's because I can take how- upstairs. <laughs> How has your time been like like with working with Minecraft? Like what like how has that been? I have not been with such an amazing group of people ever. Like through all this time doing this, I always wanted to hunt for that cool small group of Minecrafters. And when I got invited into this group, I I I'll be like, it renewed my faith in Minecraft's community, like streamer community. Because at the time, I only knew like five or six, and they all ended up just turning crappy, <laughs> to put it lightly. <laughs> and when I met all these other guys, I'm like, guys and gals, I'm like, oh, there's other family-friendly people other than me. Oh, my God. They're, they're here. How the heck are you? Hello. And, oh, God, it was, it was awesome. It's amazing. It's a group, and it's led by an amazing group of people. And I, it's, it's given me opportunities to talk to people. I never thought I'd be like, bye. I, oh my God, I you know, <laughs> I tell my son all the time. I'm like, yeah, I talk to some of these people. And they're like, you don't know them, do you? You're a YouTuber too, dad, but I guess you do. And I'm like, yeah, I got to say hi to these people. I'm friends with some of them. And that's just, that's, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, um, so for those of you guys who do not know, of course, you can't give you all the information, but for those of you guys who do not know, um, both uh, Kendra Sight and I um, have had the opportunity to do some activations with Minecraft. Uh, mm-hmm. We have had the opportunity to be in certain spaces while certain talks are going on. Um, and it, like for me personally, I'm just gl- I'm glad I'm starting to see more people that look like me offered the opportunity. Um, the Minecraft space is usually represented by one type of content creator. Usually is represented by a white male content creator. Um, then after that, you have the white female content creators. Um, usually that's where it stops short. Like that after that, that's it. So to be able to actually see more people that look like us being highlighted within um any of the uh publications to being highlighted in any of the productions it's it's been really great honestly yes. um really to be to be able to see Kendra Sight um do giveaways on Burberry 
Oh my God. Xboxes. Oh, okay. um, being able to like actually see that is like, really like this, amazing. This, this beautiful thing here. Like, <laughs> I tell you what, I got this thing lo almost locked up behind a piece of glass. I'm like, this thing is beautiful, man. I love this thing. This thing, this thing, like, if I ever stopped content creation, this is my trophy. Like, if I said this is this is a here. This right here was my trophy from being a content creator for however long I decided to do it. This is my trophy. Like, I love Burberry. <laughs> and, you know, and that's, it, it. I don't know. It's just, it's so exciting to be able to see. And it's so, it's so great because I would have never thought, I would have never thought since I started creating content in 2018. I started playing Minecraft at towards the latter end of 2018. I would have never thought that I would have ever saw somebody who was black being in this space. I I just I never I never like I mean there was like one or two people, but I just never thought that I would really see the day when we have black creators doing these great amazing sponsorships through Minecraft. Like I never thought I would ever see the day because usually, you know, usually what we always would assume was that, oh, Minecraft only works with big creators, right? With yeah, people who I have a mass like a hundred K plus on YouTube. A million. People, <laughs> people whose chats on on Twitch were going so fast that there was no need for them to even read. Like we mm -hmm. like like it was just always assumed that it would always be upper echelon people mm -hmm. that would never include somebody like us. Like literally once you get to a certain part where it's no longer a tan, but it's their skin looking like that. I never thought I would ever see, I never ever thought that I would see it. So like, I'm really happy. Like it, trust me, it, it really makes me happy to be able to even talk to you about this because um, I never thought like, if you would have asked me five years ago in 2018, when I first started Black Minecraft, and I was mm -hmm. looking for Black people, <laughs> right? You, If mm -hmm. you would have told me, listen, in just a few years, you're going to start connecting with more, with more Black people within the Minecraft space, and you guys are going to start doing some activations, and you're going to start um, talking to even more people, connecting with even more people. If you would have actually told me that, I'm going to be honest. I would have said, oh, yeah, that sounds great. But in my mind, I would have been like, oh, that's just a pipe dream. It doesn't matter. Like, that's not really mm. going to happen. Because I, I, I'm, I, when I tell you, I am so blown away. I'm so blown away. And for mm -hmm. you to be family friendly at that, and like, it's great. Like, I never thought I would meet another black family friendly content creator. That makes two of us. Like that makes two of us big time. I and like just the way that you just um the way that you just like greet everyone in the chat and, and everything. Like I remember um streaming on Mixer and a lot of a lot of black people would always say, Oh, well, you know, you're just super friendly and everything. And I'm like, Well, yeah, and you know, this is just how I am. Mm -hmm. And it, it was it was different because I, I didn't always meet other black people that um that felt free to be expressive um and and felt free to be expressive in a family friendly setting and greet mm -hmm. everyone. It just oh gosh, it's so amazing. And that's not to say that no other black um content creators uh environments are good or anything. It's not saying that yeah. at all. But within the family-friendly space, within the Minecraft family-friendly space, we don't see us. It's, it's small. We, we so barely see us anyways. Huh? We barely see us anyways. But then if you <laughs> want to have a family-friendly setting, please show me where. Um, because very teeny tiny. And some people that say they're family-friendly, they'll be like, yeah, I'm family-friendly. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not family-friendly, bro. No, that's not... You have a giant. I'm not even gonna say it on that, that. Yeah, that's not family friendly, but that that low key may be like the introductory to the whole entire podcast. 
<laughs> that just that just might be the, where where it starts off at. That's gonna get the people going. They're gonna be like, "What is this about?" <laughs> 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 no that is i mean but that that's the truth and you know that's why i wanted to be able to highlight you you are a very 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 awesome content creator you have had a very interesting tenor within the minecraft community okay and like for you to continuously um extend um, multiple hands in helping other people being successful and making sure that other people's communities can feel um, loved, right? I I just commend you for that. Thank you, Tanny. You know, there's not there, there's really <laughs> there's really not a lot of uh, of people that I can honestly say that I connect with where I can always feel a hundred percent comfortable. With just being like, okay, you guys go ahead, have fun with Kendra's site. Cause sometimes when I sometimes I'll raid and take my behind to sleep, I won't even say hello. Yeah. No, well, I'll just be like that, that's that just happens, you know, because once you're done, it's like I'm I'm done. Here's everybody. <laughs> Good night. I'm done. I I do the same thing. I mean right. And then <laughs> sometimes sometimes wake up like maybe an hour or two later, just for whatever reason, just being like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but but me knowing that the community is safe and me knowing that the community is just still having fun is is just always great. So like you know, so I do heavily appreciate it. And um, if you could let people know where exactly can they find all of your magnificent content? Do you have any builds lingering in the Reddit spaces? Where where can they find all of this? Okay, so I do most of my post. I do, I do, I do a lot of screenshots and stuff. I do a lot of things in Discord. Like I show everything in Discord. I'm trying to get in Reddit. I just Reddit has a lingering thing of me talking about Facebook, and I'm I'm working on some of my language because I did it when I was mad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I primarily do all my content on Twitch, uh, Twitch.tv/slash Kindersight. Um, I do a lot of my daily clips and stuff. And I post seven days a week on YouTube. I do a lot of my clips. I'm trying to fire up my YouTube again. Um, we're actually going to be talking a story about. So I've told you guys about I have an RPG server. Um, we have a whole arcing story that we almost uh, we're we're just about done with it. It's called the 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 Blood Knight arc. It's pretty much well. You have to tune in the video when you, when I start telling the story. <laughs> but um, yeah, Twitch. Twitter, Discord, um, not Facebook, um, not Instagram either. I don't. But <laughs> and if you need a server done, all you gotta do is contact me on Fiverr. It's fiverr.com slash Kendra site, I think it is. And yeah, it's you see all my content, all my biz. <laughs> all your biz. Awesome. Well, I do appreciate it. We're gonna go in, ahead and take a screenshot. I don't know. Okay, and I hope you guys loved that episode. Personally, it was actually really fun recording the episode. Kendra Sight is a very, 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 very amazing person. And I'm glad I was able to um, to, to get Ken to, to come hang out. You know, I'm, I'm really glad. Um, and yeah, like all of the links for Kendra Sight are going to be somewhere in many of the description boxes that this podcast is going to be playing on. If, of course, it's YouTube down below. Of course, of course, of course. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay tuned for the next episode.